What's going on apes? Welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. I am here to provide an extensive AMC update. According to a recent Bloomberg study, $250 billion has been stolen from regular investors. Make certain to remain around. Click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel before I continue. Bank of New York Mellon Corporation is a fascinating company. If they lent all of their AMC shares, they might make approximately $6,385 each day. Not a substantial amount for one of the world's largest banks. They maintain their position primarily due to its future possibilities. Large institutions continue to increase their AMC holdings, despite the fact that a minority of hedge funds continue to engage in predatory shorting in the intention of driving the company into bankruptcy. The Bank of New York Mellon one of the most renowned financial organizations in the United States, holds an astounding number of AMC shares, according to the 13 most recent filings. And while they could make a few thousand dollars each day by lending out these shares, it is more likely that they are positive on the company, feel it will rise, and wish to profit from the mother of all short squeezes. At this time, it is evident that hedge funds betting against AMC are on the wrong side of history. In the early days of the epidemic, they opened these positions with naked shorts that they would never have had to close and work to profit on a hypothetical AMC bankruptcy. And while this may have been a great investment decision at the time, the AIP absolutely demolished their theory. As a result, Wall Street ruined the market and robbed individual investors of billions of dollars. This year, individual investors have lost $350 billion. Bloomberg predicts that the average portfolio of retail traders will be down 30% in 2022, compared to a 17% loss for the S&P, as reported by Vanda Research. GP Morgan estimates that retail sales have decreased by 38% this year. Given the amount of competition any retailer faces, is this a surprise? In any case, I have a feeling that the tables will turn once again in 2023. According to data provided by Vanda Research, a firm that examines self-directed retail traders globally, the average portfolio of amateur investors would decline by almost 30% in 2022. The S&P 500 index, in comparison, has lost 17%. Individual investors have had a disproportionate impact on the market since the beginning of pandemic lockdowns, when Board 20, and 30-year-olds flock to no-cost trading to ease boredom and earn a quick buck by purchasing virtually any stock during a bull market bubble. Now, as equities approach their worst year since the 2008 financial crisis, retail traders are seeing even steeper declines and their share of U.S. equity market volume has decreased since the beginning of 2021. According to Giacomo Pierre Anthony, the head of data at Vanda in Singapore, this year's losses were exceptional particularly for the younger generation of investors. Their capacity to retire in the next decades may be contingent on whether they continue to invest in the market, or buy the dip, or whether they lose trust in investing and abandon it completely. Given the cyclical nature of the markets and the fact that we are correct, this appears to be the optimal time to purchase the dip. BAM investors use Twitter. Yesterday's responses from AMC apes led me to misjudge their determination. This time around, however, the retail investing community has learned the inner workings of the market and is not only compelled to change it to make it more equitable, but also continues to accumulate the dip by beating Wall Street at its own game and adopting the Warren Buffett method of investing, in which you buy stocks you like and hold them until you no longer like them. The apes have already made a substantial influence on Wall Street's bottom line and it is certain that we will continue to have a big impact as long as we maintain our position. This is one of the numerous reasons why fear, uncertainty, and doubt continue to proliferate across the culture. Wall Street is fully aware of our danger. Vegas, AMC was close to bankruptcy during a pandemic, but retail investors recapitalized the company by purchasing its stock. Now, AMC is utilizing this capital to flourish in the upcoming months and years, a textbook example of capitalism. So long as we maintain the status quo, hedge funds will continue to decline. The conclusion of this video. Always ensure that you scroll to the bottom of the page. Tap the thumbs up button for me. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Go obtain some free stock from Moomoo. The link is included in the description.
Acceptable thank you for supporting and viewing our station. Regards from the moon.